Hello, welcome to a brand new episode of the Fashion Edit. On today's episode, we have Jagani Krishna Kumar with us. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, Tamara. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. So, tell us a bit about yourself. Who is Jagani? So, I was born in Sierra Leone, West Africa. My parents are Sri Lankan. We eventually moved back here. Um, I would say I'm a lot of things. I don't just fit into one box. Um, right now, uh, career-wise, I think I'm definitely a designer, fashion entrepreneur, and also a um, business consultant. I do that on a part-time basis as well. Um, and I really like art. I admire it in everything, whether it's just everyday life. That's something that really um, sort, of, sort of grounds me and makes me uh, feel more connected, especially when it comes to designing as well. So I guess that's just uh, me in a nutshell. Okay. So tell us a bit about your brand. Um, so Mansa is a fine jewelry brand. We currently sell in Sri Lanka and we also ship internationally. Um, the whole concept behind it is basically inspired by the art of life, the little nuances. So all of the designs that I design, I uh, essentially expect the wearer to also add their twist to it. Um, so that's where the brand sort of started and we work a lot with Sri Lankan craftsmen who are highly skilled and um, also come from a generation of jewelry making or gem sourcing um, and we work with different craftsmen across the country. Um, the whole concept behind it is to give people fine jewelry that is made from precious metals, precious gemstones and it's something that you can pass down for generations and just keep it in your family and that's what's so special about the brand. Okay, so tell us a bit about your journey. How, what made you into come into jewelry? Right, um, so I initially had, I think it wasn't just the start. I think I've always wanted to be in fashion. I've always wanted to have my own label. Um, eventually, um, when I finished school, I went into corporate, I studied business. Um, I did my masters, all of that. And I did the whole corporate life for about 11 years. But um, in between, I did have my own little startup, which was in men's accessories and women's accessories. So that's how it kind of really started off. So that you brand, designed them? The no, so stuff. that was mainly not necessarily design. It was like a curated collection. Mm -hmm. I would work with a lot of different designers and bring down pieces. Mm -hmm. So it was more import. Uh, but now I do design for the brand AJ as well. I do it. I have a business partner as well for that. So I do it with my friend. And eventually, um, I started Mansa. I also started Mansa after failing with many other brands before, but finally found what is true to me, which is Mansa. And uh, yeah, just kicked that off in 2020, and uh, it led me to here. And this is where I am now. Great. Right, so, what is your biggest motivation to go forward? Um, I would say like. Right now, I found what I'm extremely passionate about. I know exactly um, how to, with all my experience in life, I know exactly how to sort of grow the brand as well. So my motivation is that, plus it's also the fact that when it comes to jewelry or when it comes to a piece of clothing, it's a very personal thing, whether it's gifted to you or bought by you. And it's something that you would use throughout um, for certain life events, etc. So to be a part of that is something that really motivates me. When customers come and tell me, oh, I've, I've worn like your jewelry to my brother's engagement, etc. I really kind of, um, I really kind of get motivated by that. So it's about the feeling that these pieces give you and how they make you feel when you wear them. So do you craft your own jewelry or is it all done by you? So I don't physically make them because I'm not trained and not skilled. Um, but I have like certain pieces like the one I'm wearing, like I have worked with the craftsman. I've like actually, you know, I would say polished it and stuff like that. I've done little, little things like that, but I don't actually make it because mm -hmm. that's a skill set that I don't have. So you're designing there? Yes, I mainly design, correct, and do the rest for the brand. Uh, tell us a bit about what you're doing these days. Any new designs coming out? Um, so we don't really put out designs that often. Um, the la last collection we did was the Crystal Clear Quartz collection, something that was very close to my heart, um, rooted in like my Jaffna Tamil heritage, rooted in where I was born in Sierra Leone, and it also represents Sri Lanka. So we took um, pieces of that that was very symbolic to me, put it on a crystal clear quartz, and uh, we've done a capsule collection. 
that collection we're trying to expand it now because the whole um, concept and the style is actually something that I want to keep as a house style for mm. the brand. Um, so right now we're looking at expanding that but we don't often put out collections but they're always like new new I would say add-ons to existing like collections that we have. So if you could be one international designer, who would it be and why? Okay, um, so I, I, <laughs> I admire a lot of international designers. I don't think I would want to be anyone. It would just be simply because of the fact that I think when you design something, it comes from a very personal space. And I don't think that I would have that, that experience, that life experience to be able to design like that. And I don't think anyone has my life experience, you know, growing up there, moving here, etc. I don't think people have that. So where I come from is very different as well. So, I mean, I, I admire so many designers, but I don't think I'd want to be any of them. Great. Uh, so, who are the top five designers in your opinion in Sri Lanka? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many. I have so many. Uh, just off the top of my head, I would say... Um, Dinoshi from Lepard, um, Lois London, um, my best friend Abdullah from Kingsman. Um, there are so many, I mean, just so many designers that I just really like in Sri Lanka. That's just off the top of my head. <laughs> if you hadn't become a designer, which path would you choose? I think, I think very fortunate because when I um, finished schooling, eventually I started working in corporate. I worked in corporate for about 11 years. So I've done that sort of corporate hustle as well. I do have a passion in business strategy, in consulting. So I did do that. And I'm also doing that part-time as I do my brand. Um, so I think I've had like the best of both worlds. And uh, I don't think I'm missing from one and the other, but I would say if there was this one thing that I would do, probably if I was blessed with a good voice, I always tell to my friend, I was like, I'll be a singer and I'll be so famous. Like everyone would know me. But I, I, I can't sing, but yeah. <laughs> so what are the changes you'd like to see in this industry? Um, I think uh, this is just from like my personal experience. And also I'm not very much part of the industry. I think I keep to myself a lot. And I'm also relatively new um, when it comes to jewelry. Um, so I don't think there's much I'd like to change because there's much that I don't know as well. But one thing is, I, I feel like with my friends who are designers and who are in this space, what I feel is that we need more support, we need more sort of um, industry know-how because it is a very small space in Sri Lanka and people, I mean, I'm very forthcoming with like where I get my things done, all my su supplies, etc. and things. So then just to help someone else out, especially someone who's starting out. Mm -hmm. um, I've been fortunate because I have friends in the industry who've helped me. But I feel like there could be more room for that because it's very close knit, so it's really hard to like get into it. it. Yeah. Okay, so my last question for you is what is your message to the people out there who's willing to become a designer? Um, so I, I think this is like in general, I would say, um, and this is again from like my personal experience, I would say just, you know, figure out what you want to do, whether it's be a designer, be a pilot, like whatever it is. Just figure it out and have a very like a very well thought out plan and just go ahead and do it and don't expect people to understand it because what you see in your head is something you only see and it's really hard to explain it to other people 
so just do it because eventually when you start doing it people will then say oh you know what look she's a designer or she's a pilot or whatever like um, so that's what I would say and just don't limit yourself to like I have to be a designer a pilot or this whatever you can be whatever you want just as long as you have it in your head yeah that that's what I would say okay thank you so much for coming to the show no today problem.